University of Cape Town cardiologist Professor Bongani Mayosi did not escape the wrath of students during the 2016 Fees Must Fall protests. His office as Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences was occupied for about two weeks. UCT Vice Chancellor Professor Mamogheti Akeng says that the protests were not kind to all academics. Mayosi was buried in Cape Town today. The academic fraternity supporting students. Mayosi also joined in the protests, calling on government to intervene urgently. The purpose of the picket here today is to highlight the problem of paralysis of the higher education system at the moment due to student protests who are protesting against high fees. And we are saying that the cause of the student is just and we support it. Management has decried reports that his death by suicide after suffering from depression for the last two years is blamed on the fees must fall protests. Losing him is a huge blow. It's a huge blow for a university um, because of his scientific standing. Uh, I'm sure you'll have read that he's won every award that there is. Professor Mayosi has won it. Um, but we're not just losing a scholar at UCT. We're losing someone whose voice was very important. Mayosi's voice was important at critical times. The Black Academic Caucus at UCT has called on the institution's council to set up an inquiry into Mayosi's death. Yes, the the structural violence, the institutional racism at UCT uh, especially might have contributed to this kind of thing. So we want an in-depth investigation into the circumstances because what we noticed, especially soon after he passed away and the family in, uh, indicated that he had taken his own life, there were now speculative uh, reasons from the university leadership, from other people, uh, which we reject. So we actually want now a comprehensive investigation into the circumstances that are faced especially by black students and staff at UCT. While he had reached the pinnacle of being an international scholar, some of his colleagues believe that many black academics still struggle in various institutions in South Africa. To blame the students is actually to take, to distract, quite frankly, from the university from the role of the university, from the way the university treats black academics. Bongani is not the first black academic to die in this university. You know, Jeff Bagua died, he was in the medical school as well. We need to know how Jeff Bagua died. Achuma Feje died a social death because of what this university did to him. So, you know, to, 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 to put the spotlight on students um, when there are much more powerful forces that play in this university, is really, really actually irresponsible and quite disingenuous. In recognition of his work, Mayos has been granted a special provincial funeral. Nomao Tusolwandle, SABC News, Cape Town.